I'm sitting there talking, it's gonna be blue nine million degrees out here by the time we get the plant and hang the fan. Oh, yes, that's what I need. I need this in there. You never seen nothing like that right there, boo. That old hawk bill. Cut through that sickle pod. If you want to kill a good deer in the southeast, Personally, in my opinion, the best time is opening week. Between bachelor groups, uh, feeding pattern, and no pressure on these deer, I mean, it's a recipe for success. So for the past couple of years, Tyler has been able to find an awesome buck, and he's been able to kill him the first week of the season. I love it, baby. North Carolina Whitetail's gonna get some. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You can't ask for a better hunt. Sit there and watch this deer demolish saplings. Come out and cut over behind me. He came about 30 yards, gave me a perfect shot. And he might have ran six, 60, 70 yards. We went and messed with a stand yesterday. We went and moved it. And I took down, it's a lifeline, had the little cover over the, the lamp or the other clip. Yeah. Stuck my hand in there full of wasps. What? How, you want to plant all of it this weekend? Yeah, we're going to try to get everything planted. Be done with it. How much you got dissed up, you think? I don't know. What do you think? 13 acres, 12 acres? That's a lot. Is it a gate up? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is. Hold on. Get you the keys. So when you hook that up, check. There's two drills over there, so they look exactly alike. One of them's got a bunch of black beans in it. Uh -huh. We're gonna plant them too. Okay. So just check. Um, there you go. Check which drill's got the beans in it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give you both my keys because I don't know. I think it's on this set. But here's my other keys too. Okay. That's my whole life on keychain, so don't lose them. Let's give them a thumb out in that bean field. One person you don't want directions from is Carson Corey. When he gives you directions and 6,000 keys is fixing to be a rodeo. Baby, that looks like a high school janitor starter kit. All right, well, you get done with that and then we'll come back and get some lunch and yeah, I'm gonna go to Diskin. All right, sound good. All right, homie. We are fixing to go because some seed in the ground ain't in Lindsay. We fixing to go. All right, what is that? Oh. We got 6,000 keys to find. He gave me two sets of keys for this gate. That was surprising. All right, wait. We're looking for a tuna can. Out of all things. Y'all see no tuna can? <laughs> This is how it is. This is it. Where's this key at? There's some rolled rotten wood. Piece of vinyl side, metal. I see it. That's unopened sardines.
four stroke. This is the big five. It's got a bunch of wheat. It's got cocoa oats in it. It's got some rye, Austrian winter peas, and Ladino clover. I guess you'd call it like a sod drill, but I was I was telling Taylor that you don't want to run all over where you plant and stuff because the idea of a disc or the uh, drill is it'll plant your seed at the perfect depth. And I know there's a lot of people that plant food plots for deer. If you don't have one, a lot of like the local ag extension, um, I've even rented them from a Cattlemen's Association, and really cheap to rent. They're pricey to buy but very very reasonable to rent so it's a great way to put food plots in and cover a lot of ground the recipe in the southeast is once you find a deer a stay out of there no pressure as little pressure as possible if you're running bait keep it running keep your cameras going and just try to see what he's doing. You'll figure him out. That looks like a pretty good trail. I thought about putting it in this tree right here, though. Because this whole edge is just smashed, man. We'll sneak down here and get this other stand out. Bring it back up here. It's a little walk, but it's going to be worth it. This stuff is so grown up. Trail. Let's go around. It's a hole in it. Let's get this sucker down. It's time to pull this stand down. It's, it's been a good stand. I've got a lot of good memories in it, but it's time to move on to something else. It's windy. It's about 15 mile an hour winds today. Mm. Second day of North Carolina season. We're gonna sit tight. Football's back on. Deer season's in. It's 70 degrees, opening week. Don't get much better than that, to be honest with you. Dude, we're tearing it up in North Carolina. Dude, this is the second, <laughs> second day. day. Yeah. Dude, there's millions of them. Where are they? Freaking spiders. Don't let them get on me. I just encountered the biggest spider nest I've ever seen in my life. There's a recluse. You want to go out that way or you want to go around? <laughs> Come on, Tay, let's life it out a little bit. Better. You alright? Dude, it was not like that. Yeah, I remember. Well, I've made it now. <laughs> Dude, I ate it hard. Yeah, you did. Alright, here we go. That brush pile looks awful familiar. Y'all, don't let that brush pile be the death of y'all. Go around it. We uh, just got off work. I'm rushing to the house. I don't have time to take a shower. So I'm gonna use some of that body foam stuff that a lemon shield makes. It's always worked well for me. We had that little country bull. You know the prime guys are in town? Oh yeah. I smell like mixed between a well-seasoned potato and a crawfish. 
freaking OD on the windshield. Give it a second run. It's the second day of the North Carolina season. It's overcast, perfect wind, and we're in a spot where there's three really nice deer. Smoked some. Dirty smoke, brother. What you talking about, baby? Natty eyes on the camera. <laughs> Smoked. So good. The shot looked like money. It's the uh, second day of the North Carolina opener. Literally our second time hunting together. And this deer came out <clears throat> about 7.15, plenty of light. Gave me a perfect quarter and away shot. It was a little bit forward, but everything did what it needed to do. And we recovered this buck. I don't know, maybe, maybe went 150 yards. And I'm going to catch a stand. I got a big old eight pointer that I'd love to see in daylight. So here we go. I get these pantalones on. there. Wind's absolutely perfect. Slip in there. Get all this stuff hung up. Maybe I, maybe I have a little luck. Just got set up. It's a little windy today. But it's perfect. It's a perfect wind for me. I'm hoping. Got a big old eight point.
still too high. I had to put another one in it. I'll tell you this, my favorite list on my phone went from about five people to one person, and that's Big Nate Dog, because he's the only one that came and helped me. I called Carson, I called Justin, Matt Bennett got a phone call. Yeah, you, you got a little bit, didn't you? I cut, that's it, no more favorites. Nate Dog, he's my dragon partner from here on out. He helped me out, saved my life. All right, me and Nate, my savior. He came and helped me drag. Finally got this deer out. And I'm gonna tell you what, it's been a long week at work. This is my, it's really my second time hunting. Work's been so crazy and it's been hot. And I hadn't got to get out. And yesterday it was like 99 degrees. I mean, it was nuts. And then the day it dropped down, it was like a 20 degree difference. But he's been like 11 a.m., 9 a.m., 3 a.m. I mean, he's been all over the place. But today I just like, Man, he's got to move with that much of a temperature drop. It's a full moon. It's Friday the 13th. Um, I guess it's a good day. Uh, 23 and a 8. Is he good at the widest point? Yeah. Yeah. He's got a funny shape, right? And it is awkward. Yeah. Going him up. He looked a little hot. Well, I ain't hot now, I was. Dude, my boy was struggling. I was for a while. Whew. I get about a 50 yards in. <laughs> the hard part was up that hill, and he kept trying to slide in that gully. And it's like, good to get your heart pumping. I was like, yeah, I was going to pump it all night. What's that you This the last minute? Yeah. Uh, 40. 40. Holy yeah. cow! Yeah.